Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I need to announce it's last, last call, call at, at the, the bar. bar. Oh. All right, everybody, we have made it to the end of the episode, and it's last call. We're still here with Ruthless Lala. Now, Lala, it's rapid fire questions. The first thing that comes out of your mind is the first thing you should answer. Are you ready? Oh, God. No, I'm not. Like, I feel like... <laughs> You know, out of so many times I've interviewed people, you're the first one to say that you're not ready. But that's okay. Look, look, look. Because I'm away be we go. I'm, I'm going to put my Kevin voice on. No. I wasn't ready. No. No. But yeah, let's hit it. Let's go for it. All right. What is your favorite adult beverage? Either Jack and Coke or Rum and Coke. Nice. Other than wrestling, what is your favorite sport? Football. Name a place you would like to use your wrestling entrance outside of wrestling. Oh, God. Uh, when I go into the gym. <laughs> nice. What fictional character would you like to face in a wrestling match? Uh, I would love to wrestle Lord Beard. What is your spirit animal? It's actually a couple of people. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Uh, I have the spirit animal of Mike Cobb, uh, Eddie Kingston, Austin Kong, Sue Young, and Jazz, and some JBL and Stan Hansen. Those are my main spirit animals. Yeah, yeah, like I have a plethora. See, I use the big word. I have a plethora of spirit animals that I like to just tune into every so wow. now and then. So, yeah. All right. What is and your... a great mood. See, I'm with that. <laughs> <laughs> What is your motto in life? Oh, man, I have a few of those. Um, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Everybody want to be famous, but nobody wants to work hard. If all else fails, don't fail. Put your head up and just keep swimming. I think that's, I have some more, but I can't. This is like the speed round. So yeah. <laughs> just keep going. All right. What is the worst job you've ever had? Oh, my dear God. Okay, so the worst job I ever had was I worked at Trader's Village. It's in Grand Prairie. It's like a big-ass flea market. Okay. But it's called Trader's Village. And it was the best yet the worst because it was the best because it had dope-ass turkey legs. But it was the worst because the staff was just trash. Oh. Just attitude galore. What is your favorite karaoke song? Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. So... I have a go-to. Depending on where I'm doing karaoke at, I'll either start off with Tennessee Whiskey, Before He Cheats, Poison, or Don't Stop Believing. Uh, what is your pet peeve in wrestling? Ooh. <laughs> I don't see how people go out of their way to screw over other people. I hate that. Like, there's room for everybody. You know what I mean? So for you to want to throw somebody under the bus and lie on people and just be cutthroat and not give information, you know, or just like, you know, help people. I have a problem with that. I believe that the whole point of wrestling is the older you get in this business, the more you give back to the young people coming in because mm -hmm. you want to make sure that they're raised up in this business right. You know, you don't just want somebody coming into the business and thinking that because they have a six pack and they can do a backflip that they're the best professional wrestler in the whole wide world. You get what I'm saying? I feel it. I feel it. It's true. That's my pet peeve. I hate shadiness. I hate cutthroat bullshit. I hate the fact that you vouch for people and then they just screw you over. So my major pet peeve is uh, ACH said this about eight years ago when uh, we were at uh, Anarchy Championship Wrestling in Austin, Texas. And that is no bitch assness. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. Is no bitch ass, no bitch ass is in, in in the business. I hate it. You know, shout out to ACH. He's cool as shit. That's a little bro, bro. <laughs> Sounds like a great motto in life too to add. And finally, what is something that is cool to do in wrestling that if you did it outside of wrestling would be weird? If I throw a lariat outside of wrestling, I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> 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 It's great at wrestling, but weird as hell outside because very it's dangerous. Not great for nobody. Yeah, very dangerous. Well, on that note, Ruthless Lala, thank you so much for joining us in a shot of wrestling, and I'm looking forward to seeing you a whole lot more of you in this upcoming year in the Northeast area. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank you for having me. 
Hey baby, I hear the bell ringing, hip tosses and body slams. Oh my. And maybe you seem a bit confused, yeah baby, but I got you pinned. Ha 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 ha. But I don't know what to do when I see them with that golden case. They're cashing it in. Authority all in my face. What is a man to do? Good night, everybody.